All right. A few days ago, I said something about Kenny Baker's style of music or Kenny Baker's playing to a 4-4 timing signature while Bill played to a 2-4. Um, I had a pretty odd relationship with Bill Monroe, especially while I was in the band. It, it, and a lot of times it became quite contentious. Um, but we were working on something one day and he told me, he said, you need to play that melody like Kenny Baker does. And I said, well, Kenny Baker doesn't always play the melody. He's got you know, licks that he plays instead of melody at times. Well, you just don't know what you're talking about. And he walked out of the room on me. So the next time that we were uh, playing at a festival, I think it was at Bean Blossom, if I'm not mistaken, and we did our Sunday morning gospel program. I'll play you the way that Kenny Baker played um, working on the building. And then I'll play you the way that I played it and, and tell you a little bit about uh, what happened when I did. But anyhow, Kenny Baker would play his break on uh, working on the building to be something like this. played this break. Now this is just a few days after Monroe had told me that I needed to play the melody like Kenny did and I made that comment. And if you heard the second part of that tune, that's the way, you know, the chorus side of that. That's the way Kenny played it. So I'm going to play you the break that I took the next break after that. the chords right, or who caught the key changes right going into the five chord on that, was Monroe himself. And I looked around, he was coming in over my left shoulder to sing his next thing, and folks, a lot of folks never got to hear it, but he had one of the most wonderful bass voices that ever was. If you would ever hear him do sing bass on something like he will set your fields on fire, the traditional way was... If you don't from sin retire, he will set your fields on fire. Well, Monroe would sing that. He'd push it upward. He'd go, if you don't from sin retire, he will set your fields on fire. And make the neatest chord right there going into the, the, the change of that. But anyhow, I turned around and I looked at him after I'd played that working on a building and played that melody right out to the end of it. Working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. I looked around him and I said, now there's your melody. And about that time I heard him come out with the lowest sound I ever heard out of his voice where he just said, yeah. And the next thing I heard, he was like two octaves above that in the mic said, if I was a preacher or whatever that was. Anyhow, that was a curiosity there of looking at one of those things where Kenny, if it didn't meter out in a four, he would play a lick to get himself through it to get into the next next part of something. Okay, so I'm going to play the tune again for you, and I'll play a couple of passes through, and I'll play one right after the other. The first time I'll play it like Kenny Baker, and I'll do the little deal on the end of the line there of the chorus, and then the second time I'll play my, what I consider to be a more melodic version of the thing playing that. So... <laughs> 